everyone, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Welcome to design challenge number 27, designing a landing page mockup in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so don't worry if you think of landing page that you're gonna have to design some elaborate thing. It's gonna take forever. There's specific instructions and there's really not a lot that you have to design for. It's really just gonna be the top portion of a fictional landing page. And the goal is to try to get the fictional customer or the visitor, the website visitor, to enter their email address and click on a call to action submit button. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'm gonna forward to the screen and I'll see you there. All right, so here is the design challenge number 27 thread, landing page mock-up design. So I'll read the objective. Design a mock-up of a landing page for a fictional water filtration company. Don't ask me why I came up with that. It just did, and that's that. The name is going to be Flow, F-L-O. The purpose of this landing page is to get visitors to enter their email address in exchange for a coupon. All right, so this is also known as a squeeze page. All right, so the requirements are use the following content. So the headline, water is better with Flow. Subheadline, receive a 10% off coupon by entering your email. And then a description right here that I want you to include somewhere. And then the call to action button copy is send me my coupon. So you're going to have probably five different things here. You have the headline, the subheadline, the description. You're going to have the, uh, the text field input design, like where the person's actually going to click to enter their email. Uh, and then the call to action button. Um, you can go ahead also uh, in, you don't have to create a logo for Flow. If you just wanna make it a type-based wordmark logo, just use some type of font, that's fine. Uh, so you can include that. Uh, make sure that you design a noticeable text field, again, you know, once for the email entry. Base the design on at least a 1280 by 1000 pixels design. And do not include a navigation or menu. That's not necessary, we don't need that. So if you wanna include the, the FLO, Maybe you can just center it up right up at the top if you wish. Use a lot of white space, which means you know a lot of distance between elements. You don't cram things together next to the edge of the design. Uh, use good contrasting colors, of course, and check out landbook.com for inspiration. So this is Landbook. Uh, they have a, a lot of different, Just it's, a, it's basically a website gallery of landing pages. Uh, and there's a lot of just well, very well designed landing pages here. Now for this challenge, we're only focusing on just the top portion of this fictional landing page. You don't have to sit there and design like a whole landing page with a ton of content. It, it, as long as you have this, that's good, just for this stuff. All right, um, so you know, here's an example of a landing page that has an email address input right here. Uh, this is their, their headline, well, this is their logo, headline, subheadline, and then the email address and then the call to action button. That's pretty much all I'm looking for for this. But of course, it's completely up to you in terms of how you wanna lay this out. Uh, in terms of, you know, if you wanna have like a background image or if you wanna have a separate image off to the side, that's completely up to you, okay? So please, if you're going to submit a design, try to make it on par with the, the level of quality of some of these designs. You know, try to pay attention to how they design their buttons, uh, their use of white space, see, like this one, for example, has a lot of white space. You know, they have their, their menu up here. We have a lot of distance between here and the headline, and it's very simple, and it's just something that works well. So, of course, I'm not looking for the HTML or CSS of this at all. All it has to be is a mock-up, okay? So submit by uh, Sunday, June 21st, which is five or six days from now, and I will review them. All right, so... Yeah, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. Check out the design courses that I have up here if you haven't yet. And I'll see you later on. All right, goodbye.